And many of you will notice that during times of processing you do feel really heavy. And during times of processing you do feel like that there are other, maybe other entities or spirits around you that are actually seemingly harming you during this process of processing. And that may scare you so much that you're tempted to actually get out of the process of processing. But let's look at it from a soul perspective. Here's your soul. Here's the souls, if you like, of all these spirits who have passed, right? So they're all just souls of all the spirits who have passed. And when you start processing an emotion, let's say the emotion is that you're processing is anger with that. Let's say that's the emotion you're processing. And then underneath that anger is grief about how your father's harmed you. In, and it might be just a simple harm that he's done, like just never listened to you. And you're just so angry that you've just never been listened to. And then you get into this terrible grief about that. So you start processing your grief about never being listened to. What that happens is your soul emits this energy. And it actually is different coloured energy. Different colours actually emit from you as you're processing an emotion. Does that make sense? And every single spirit in the, who is earthbound can actually see that happening if they're close enough to you, can see those colours emanating from you. Now if those colours and the emotion emanating from you happens to mirror their emotion, they will rush to you. Does that make sense? And it's the law of attraction. So remember the law of attraction? It's the law of attraction at work which will attraction which will attract those spirits to you while you're processing that emotion. Now, it has the effect of heightening your emotion in many cases. So let's say I'm really, really angry with Dad and there's a heap of women spirits in the spirit world who are really angry with their fathers and then you get angry with your dad and you start expressing your anger, let's say you're beaten with a baseball bat, a, you know, a punching bag or something like that and you start expressing your anger and what's going to be happening while you're expressing this anger is these spirits who are also in this state will be attracted to you and you will even maybe feel in more of an angry state because of that. But bear in mind that it's still because of the emotion that's inside of you that that's occurring. And all you need to do is stay focused on feeling that emotion and getting to the underlying cause of that emotion. If you stay in your anger, those spirits will be able to easily manipulate you in acti to acting upon your emotion. So if you stayed in this anger with Dad, and let's say your father is alive, these spirits will motivate you to ring him up right at that instant perhaps and give him a big serve, you know? Or maybe write a really nasty letter to him and send it off to him or something like that. Now, the problem with that is we're not getting into the underlying causal emotion when we do that. And when we get into the underlying causal emotion, if any of these spirits don't want to get into the causal emotion of their own, they will leave you straight away. And all that will be left around you will be any of these spirits who can see what you're doing now and then they'll twig themselves and they'll say oh right you know that's what I need to do I just need to cry about this you know for many of them it doesn't strike them until you actually doing it right in front of them and then they actually connect themselves to their causal emotion and they will often then be around you later but around you like learning from you rather than impacting upon you and affecting you but the angry one, so let's say these two were angry, but this one was ready to deal with her grief. Well, these two, once you connect to the grief, which is the causal emotion, these two will leave you, and this one will probably remain around you and cry with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs>